my name is Kristen Prock. Um, I'm an assistant professor of social work at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater and I earned a PhD from MSU in social work in 2019. There are a few key things that I think are really important for people to understand that perhaps they don't know or, or things that maybe have been glossed over when they're taught history, um, especially as it relates to the LGBTQ community. In the 1950s, homosexuality was added to the DSM as a diagnosis. So essentially, if someone was um, identified as you know, not heterosexual, they were seen as sick or um, leading a deviant lifestyle or you know, considered to have sociopathic tendencies, which is, which is just unbelievable. So 1950s, that's not long ago, right? It wasn't until 1973 that that was actually taken out of the DSM. The other thing, you know, when we talk about Stonewall, Stonewall is a great piece of our history, right? So, you know, it, it's often seen as kind of the, the beginning of the movement, um, you know, for gay rights. It wasn't quite the beginning, but it was sort of that explosion that really kind of set things in momentum. However, what is rarely taught as a part of that discussion is that the movement and the momentum continued because of black and brown transgender women. And if we don't talk about that, then we're erasing that whole part of our history. Another part of our history that's really important that we don't talk about is you know, the AIDS crisis that occurred in our country. Um, when AIDS, you know, first started showing up, it was seen as a, a disease or a virus that predominantly affected the gay community. And so it, some people even refer to it as the gay plague. There were no federal policies to really support um, these individuals who were dealing with this horrific, horrific virus that there was no cure for. As the federal government failed to respond to the AIDS crisis that was happening, we essentially were telling an entire population um, of gay men that their lives were less than, that they didn't matter, that you know this was nature's way of removing them from our communities. Marriage equality happened in this country in 2015. So five years ago, not that long ago, at that point in time, we were we gained the right to marry whom we love. But the unfortunate thing is, it's still legal to discriminate people based on their sexual orientation and gender identity. So yes, we can get married, but there's so much more work to be done. We should have housing, we should have safety, we should have protection, we should be able to have a job without having to worry about hiding our identities. We should be able to seek housing and not have to worry about being discriminated against. But that's not what's happening today. So it's really our, our role or our duty, I should say, to continue to fight for all members of our LGBTQ community.